Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the iPhone 5S. Now I did just get it today, so it's true I haven't had much time to actually use it, but my general first impressions I can put into a mini review for you. So is it worth the upgrade? That's the number one question I'm going to be covering here, because many people are looking to upgrade maybe even from the iPhone 5 or from the 4S, and I hope to answer your questions when it comes to the iPhone 5S as to what's new, you know, what's changed, what's better, is it worth the upgrade in general? And here we go. Now being the 6th generation iPhone in line, the iPhone 5S doesn't come as a revolution, rather as a refinement of what Apple is good at. It took the iPhone 5, put it into a blender, made it that much better for the iPhone 5S model. Now you're not getting major changes, you're just getting a few new changes and just refinements of an older product. Now let's be realistic, if I presented you with the iPhone 5S and I didn't tell you anything and I just gave it to you to hold, not many of you would even know it is a 5S besides the actual ring right here which makes it stand out from the iPhone 5 because of how similar it is. There is actually more of a difference between the 5 and 5S than there was between the 4S and 4, but still physically it is almost entirely the same. The only two noticeable differences are the ring back here and the dual flash unit in the back of the iPhone as you can see right there. After using it for a few hours, not to discredit the iPhone 5S, but the iPhone 5 can do almost everything the iPhone 5S can do. However, the 5S does it that much better. It does have the new A7 chip, which means it's twice as fast processor-wise as the iPhone 5. So loading applications, going to camera and switching between modes is a lot snappier on the iPhone 5S noticeably than the iPhone 5. Now there is this controversy that people say Apple slows down iPhones before releases to make you want to upgrade and I don't know if that's true or not. It does make sense for me because I've noticed it but you will noticeably see that the 5S is a lot faster than the iPhone 5 just generally using it browsing Safari, you know, going through all of your applications, which is great. Processing power is always welcome. Now the battery is slightly bigger on the iPhone 5S, which means you will get the same battery life, just marginally better than the iPhone 5. The 5S now supports an array of new LTE bands, meaning it's more compatible with many more carriers worldwide. Image size remains at eight megapixels, which I'm okay with. As long as the quality is better, the size to me does not matter. Speaking of image quality, when it comes to megapixels, that's not what matters. What the iPhone 5S manages to do is increase the aperture range to f2.2, while the iPhone 5 remains at 2.4 f-stops, meaning you get a more low-light friendly sensor and it's 15% better at recording in the dark. And I have noticed a difference, believe it or not, I thought the iPhone 5 was great, but the 5S is so much better when it comes to low-light conditions and overall shooting. The dual flash unit is used to make images softer and more realistic color-wise when shooting in the night with a flash, because when you are shooting with one color on the iPhone 5, you don't get much control over the tint and the color. Now, when you do have two different shaded flash units, that's actually more manageable, which is great. Now, in the video application, you have an option for slow-mo, which shoots in 120 frames per second in 720p, a great addition, but I'm sure with a jailbreak, you can actually add it to the iPhone 5, no doubt. And also, the last major change is the new Touch ID sensor, which basically uses your fingerprint to unlock the iPhone, make decisions, and it's only stored on the A7 chip or so Apple says. For now, no developers can make third-party applications using the sensor because of security concerns, which I'm totally for. It even comes cat-friendly. You can use your cat's paw to actually register as a Touch ID user on your 5S. Now, what's the verdict? The 5S is a very welcoming addition to the mobile industry. It brings a few new changes to the table versus the iPhone 5, but not enough to make me convince many iPhone 5 users that they need to upgrade. Now, if you have a 4S, it's a welcome change. Now, with the iPhone 5, physically, there's so little that would make me want to update. There's a few software changes which are great and a new Touch ID thing. Now the camera is already good on the iPhone 5, so to me it wouldn't be worth it. Whether or not it will be worth updating is of course up to you, all up to you guys. Now I do appreciate you watching this review. I'll have much more content about the 5S out soon. Have a great day guys. Peace.